It's been about nine months since we brought you the story of Komani's so-called stadium. The Lesserton sports field cost ratepayers a whopping 15 million rand and was even tendered for 22 million. But what locals got doesn't match the price tag. And since then, an investigation revealed many red flags in the Inokumkijima local municipality's tender process. Avi Mtila returns to Komani today to bring us a follow-up. Avi, I remember speaking to a representative of the Inokumkijima municipality about this tender, and she was adamant that they had followed due process, and she even offered to show us uh, the evidence that they had followed due process. What's been unearthed uh, now that it's been interrogated further? Well, that report has been investigated, Tapuma, and it's come out that, in fact, the procurement process and the awarding of the tender to Talami civils has been marred by a number of irregularities. What you see is, of course, the village itself, Lacenton uh, Village, and we are in the sports facility, the 15 million dollar, I beg your pardon, 15 million rand sports facility, and what you see now, what my colleague Nirban Tangani is showing you, is what's supposed to be the athletic track. It's deteriorated since we were last year in October, and you can see there are no lines whatsoever in what's supposed to be the athletic tracks, but grass has grown and um, just some of that weed that needs to be rooted out. The field itself has also grown uh, the grass uh, immeasurably, and you found out in that report that those irregularities go on from even the bid educating committee that was appointed irregularly, as well as the advertising itself. Talami Civils, we hear that, scored the fourth highest in those that were supposed to receive the tender, but somehow miraculously uh, ended up receiving the tender. Some of the issues that I actually want to touch on with a prominent business person in Queenstown who recently ran independently in the local government election. Ken Clark. Thank you for joining us at ENCA. You saw the report yourself. Um, what have you picked up from the report? Well, um, all I can see is that it looks like it's been a tick box exercise. Uh, as you say, uh, the adver advertising wasn't done properly. The bid committee was irregularly uh, uh, appointed. Uh, uh, the dates where adverts went out as opposed to when things were awarded were all irregular. And, and really what this is about is, is value for money for the taxpayer. You know, municipalities give money, get money from national government to perform uh, service delivery tasks for the communities at large. And my point is just this. How can a, a, a facility like this, which is in disrepair, it's not being used at all, uh, why was it prioritized? As, as a needy project when there are so many other projects that the communities need to, to uplift living standards in this area. Why was this one prioritized? And then why, at, at, a, at a sum that's way above the market value of, of this work? If you look at the quality of work here, you have to be appalled and say, nobody can possibly even pay a soccer match or a rugby match on this field. You will trip and fall. This grass is long. Um, the, the, the surface is uneven, and it is clearly not being used by the community. So why, why the need for something like this at that cost when there are so many other greater priorities? Do you know about Talami civils in its own, and realistically, what should happen that this first part of the report has come out now? Well, look, I've never heard of Talami Civils, and, and my next question would be uh, on that score is, as the independents, we say, why don't we award these contracts to local companies, that local people who work in this area can benefit from the work that is done by those companies? And that's not happening, uh, and, and that's a problem. Um, the other thing is, the report is, is full of irregularities, which tends to say to me that the management at the municipality must take responsibility for what's going on here. And yes, this is not something that the new council approved and, and, and uh, had built, but it is this council's responsibility to hold the perpetrators of the wrongdoing to account. I believe that uh, the people that were involved should be charged and that the money that has been wasted and squandered needs to be recovered from them, uh, even if it means that they need to sell their properties to, to make good that. 
a lesson needs to be made. We cannot allow this kind of irregularity to continue. This is a gross waste of taxpayers' money, and something has to happen. I also believe that we need to make sure that a forensic audit of the entire municipality happens, because if this is happening here, what's happening on other projects? Okay, I quickly need to touch with the community members who've been eagerly waiting here. Just to find out, did you, did you hear anything? Thank you for joining us at ENCA. Niaayazna le report ipumileyo iti ikonu kopolo lo nito benzuweyo ap? Engos msalas, kamalamu huza milizu lo lo msala pe wat iti nino kumkichima. Oksuga lango uwe uktoupa last year. Degu tuwa lapa kwa si stadium. Ipatiz ngi patiz kutuwa kwa uya pano onge stadium. Tia singa basa alba lapa. End of Gaza. See, I phone and ask Magpano the stadium. Cause they report ATI Malich. I will buy which way Malich. Magbanjo umdo which way Mal. Which way Mal. Tina silinde lendo ni silinde yo. Silinde lendo tuwa nazi report isuka goma spala iti. Bako na bando abata pazilega ikche we ni Mal. Babo chwe abuban. Mama le report iti umdo esin of mene le Mali. O ufanba ufmene le tenda. Msinya nje gogo kushanga tenda. Engos mshal. Engos mshal. Engos mshal. Engos mshal. I ndo enze kayo asmas. Okay, the community says they don't know the company, they don't know this person, they haven't heard the report in its, all, uh, in its entirety. In fact, right now we are heading to the municipal manager to find out exactly what's been done by this report. But we do understand it's only the first part of the report. We're expecting the second part that will detail then if uh, there was value for money in this 15 million rand stadium. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Avir. We appreciate it. We'll be following you uh, throughout the day as you try and unearth more on that story. Avir uh, in uh, at the Lesserton Sports Field, the infamous Lesserton Sports Field. Now,